What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is ZJ Joyful Plans and today we are decorating my planner for the week, the week of December 5th through the 11th. And we are continuing in <laughs> Elizabeth's, I don't know, search for meaning, no, search for um, the ideal planner layout for her as we gear up towards 2023. This week, well, last week I used dot grid paper and I did my own spread. I'm going to do something somewhat similar this week and then I'm not using planner inserts. I'm using filler paper inserts. Um, several of my plan with me's back in the fall featured this filler paper. I wholeheartedly recommend this filler paper. This is from the Happy Planner. It is classic size and it is on the Happy Planner website. You might be able to find it at Hobby Lobby as well. And I will link, if it is on the Happy Planner website, I will link that down below. But I just really like this paper. You've got basically everything that you need on one page, sort of. You've got your week at a glance, Monday through Sunday, a checklist of things to do, and then just notes and doodles. To me, this is perfect paper. And what makes it even better, even more perfect, if that's possible, is when you flip it over, it is just lined paper on the back side, and it says, write it down. Very clean and simple. And when you see one page or two pages next to each other, you have what I think is a really, really nice Hobonichi inspired type layout where you've got the column of the days and then you've got lined paper. It's just reversed. So this is what I want to use for planning this week. And I want to use an oldie but a goodie. Well, it's not, it's not the old, old homebody, but this is homebody seasons. I think this came out last year. You know, it's a little bit newer because it's got the name of the book up at the top. I think this is going to be famous last words, going to be a relatively simple planner spread because I don't know. I just want it to be clean and cute. We want to be clean and cute this week. And last week's video was so freaking long that I want to save y'all the drama of a super long video, even though you guys have been very clear with me. God bless you. Very, very clear with me that you like, you like my chatty videos. You like hanging out with me. You're planning with me. And I really love that about our relationship. Makes it nice and special. Um, so, uh, but I do, I do want to kind of be a little bit shorter. Uh, I don't have that much time right now because I need to pick up the baby. Um, she's hanging out with my mom right now. So uh, we're just looking at some of the pages in the winter section of Homebody Seasons. This is um, fit to a dashboard layout, but of course you can use any planner um, with any stickers, size doesn't matter, layout doesn't matter. I like this box. This is just a horizontal box. I wonder if I could incorporate that somewhere. Um, shopping list, then we've got some queer, clear quotes and clear decorative stickers. I just like the plaid. I like the minimalist colors, very neutral, and I thought that could look nice with the with that beigey, taupey color. And we could do something really pretty without trying too hard, which I am very, very interested in. So, okay, I think the first thing I'm going to do is maybe make the headers a little bit cuter. Should we do that? I'm not going to do much with this. I like the way that that looks, but maybe we add a little zhuzh around here and around there. So... Let's just go for it. I'm going to grab a sprig of shrubbery and where are my trusty tweezers? There they are, living their best life. I'm just going to take, this is going to be good. Let's see if I can finish this in under 20 minutes. No editing, no cheating. Should I go for it? I think so. I'm going to put this sprig right here like that. And let's see, do we want to do another one just like it? We could kind of do that. I'm just going to cover up the headers so I can decide what I want, what I want those sections to be for. We'll go over a little bit more. That's good. And we want the bone. I use a paper folding tool called a bone to press out. 
or press in the clear stickers so that they look seamless in the paper or on the paper. I wonder, you know what, that was kind of cool. This is busy enough to where I didn't need to like white it out first. Love when that happens, because it never happens. That already looks very wintry and cute, right? I mean, obviously we're not gonna stop there, but talk about an easy, an easy way to uh, spice things up a bit. You know what, let's spice things up even more by adding, how about some little stockings? <gasps> should we? I think we should. Cause I don't know if I need all this space. So let's, there are three facing in this direction. So I'm going to, do I want varying heights? Sure, a little bit higher with that one. And then, Maybe dip this one down a little bit lower or we just make it kind of matchy-matchy with that one. Uh-oh, not what I wanted to do. Did not want to put that there. But sometimes the sticker drops and you just got to go with it. Let's try this guy again. Now that it's all curled, I'm trying to put them equal distance apart. I think that'll work. And I think, let me see if I've got a pencil nearby. Do I want to somehow like attach? Do you know what I mean? Hmm, we've got, we don't really have a lot of space don't really have a lot of space. So I think we're just gonna let them float and then hope y'all get the perspective that they are supposed to be attached to that guy. I could actually, since it's sticker, I could use like, oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous. I could use, dare I? Hold on, let me, let me verify that a permanent pen like this will write on it will Ooh, so technically oh my gosh we're doing it we are doing it I'm just making little loop de loops so they have the appearance of hanging huh cute yes please okay so we got our stockings I do like the little vehicle but mm. I'm gonna put Marion bright because it's really cute I'm gonna put Marion bright right here just right in the center that's cute kind of changing things up let's call this good for now let me see if there's any other Hmm. Pick out a perfect tree. I could put that little box sticker down. And by pick out a perfect tree, Josh hates that we've done this, but we bought a fake tree last year. I was like, I'm too old for this. I love the smell of a real tree. Um, I, I really do. I love the look of a real tree. But in Austin, the trees aren't cute. They're not good trees, you guys. So I was like, Josh, can we just get a, can we just get a fake tree that's pre-lit? And he caved, you guys. So I could put, um, ooh, what if I put never lose your sense of wonder? Just to kind of keep like, yeah, let's do it. This will help kind of cover up down below. Anyways, what I was saying was sidetracked. Um, I could put the pick a tree down and then I'll know that's actually just symbol symbolizing that we're going to put up our fake tree that day. Never lose your sense of wonder. Huh? Well, that's cute. I like that. 
This is classy, you guys. We're going classy today. Um, and I like adding that little punch of red. Hopefully we have red that can be added over on this side. Okay, maybe I'm gonna leave this blank. I'm gonna leave it as is. So there's our first side. And I think that I'm gonna need to add some structure over here. So I can do that with black boxes. Should I do that with black boxes? Oh, you guys, hold on. I just had a great idea. Well, it's not really a great idea. It's just, um, I mean, I guess it's a great idea. <laughs> I'm trying to find my winter boxes to see if this color happens to match that color. Do the reds match? Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of dodgy. The other option is the new foiled boxes. These are both Mojo Jojo plans. Um, would her, see this color, this foiled, deeper foiled color actually does kind of match. Color wise that matches, but I don't have a place to put foil over here. So we're gonna pass on the foil, but this is available now. Um, on Mojo Jojo Plans website, if it hasn't sold out, it's her new foiled boxes book. It's really pretty, really, really pretty, especially for someone that doesn't use a lot of foil in her spreads. So I, I feel like this color is a little dirty compared to this one, but I want to add it in. I want to add more of this color. So let's, let's think about this for a moment. That or I can make my own boxes. Hold on, should we should we do some pen tests and see, do I have a red that could match? Let's try this one. Nope, that's a hard pass. What about with the Crayola Super Tips? That is way more brown than this lid color. They are fooling us, you guys, they are fooling us. No. Come on. Crayola Super Tip. Okay, let's look at Click Art. Ah, oh, okay, Click Art. This is the color I'm looking for. I could use this pen in my planner this week. <gasps> Stop it. You know I'm a black pen person in my planner, but, but if you have a good match, you better ride that good match. This is really nice. The tip just isn't very thick, but I guess I could color it in. Oh my goodness. This is what makes me nervous when I, I don't have a strategy and then I just go for it. I just kind of make things up as I go. So there are wreaths over here that are pretty, that are paper. Then there's ones that are clear. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make my own boxes and then I'm gonna hang some wreath, wreaths from them. And because this is already lined, I don't really need to do much with it. So let's create just some different like sections. Um, so we'll just do one here and let's have it be somewhat of a big, section. I don't know what I'm going to do with this box, but we'll set that up for now. And then, hmm, we could do, let's see how, I don't think I want to go that far down. We're going to cut this guy off here. We're gonna have this box go to here or to that line. And I wish this car was bigger, but let's just rock and roll. I kind of feel like, I think I just need to go for it. 
So I'm trying to picture in my head where I want wreaths to be hanging down from. And then I'm gonna draw boxes around them. I mean, I guess they could go like here and here. So maybe I should have a box going this way. I'm gonna have a box going horizontally. I just changed my mind. And this video is definitely, since I'm making my own boxes at this point, I think it's gonna be, oh my goodness, stay. This is going to be, this is not cooperating. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be annoying. Hold on, we need an eraser that is going to work with us. And if not, for the sake of time, I'm gonna grab another sheet and I'll just deal with erasing this later. That's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. Because this is filler paper, I have a stash of it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another sheet. Don't worry, I won't waste that paper. So these are all vertical boxes. So let's just, I'm just gonna do this. <gasps> little nervous, little nervous. I'm gonna go ahead and make a box. Let's go that far. And we'll, we're gonna have it fill the whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle. We'll do that. And then where do I want these guys to, where do I want the wreaths? To, do I have the wreaths? Maybe I have the wreaths hanging down here. So I'm gonna go, Let's go a little bit lower. So, I'm gonna pull this guy a little bit lower. Let's go to there. Actually, since I went past that line, I don't like that. Let's try to get it right up, right there. And then make sure that we're all teed up. Oh, this is so fun. It's really important to me that I have, oh, that did not line up. That's okay. Um, that I have fun decorating my planner. And when I do stuff like this, I feel joy. I feel contentment and joy. Okay, so I'm going to Take one of these wreaths. Hmm. Now I went a little bit too low. I think that's okay. And maybe I'll use paper wreaths. I'm going to go ahead and close this box and use the paper wreaths, I think, because I'm not sure how I want them to be hanging or where I want them to be hanging from. So we're gonna close this box. So now we have a nice big section continuing with our dashboard. And maybe this is just gonna be, maybe I just do some journaling for the week. So I've got like my functional stuff over here. And then I've got maybe just memory keeping, things I wanna you know, write down about Esther or whatever she's up to. So I think I want to add Oh, I want to add one of these cars. I just wish they were bigger because it doesn't really, they don't really like fill in, they don't fill in the space very much or very well. I'm going to set him aside for now. I think I want these, uh, the box to be bigger. So I'm going to, um, make it bigger by making a frame and then I'll just kind of color it in and that will ooh or not we'll see what it looks like not color colored in I think I want more of this red color so yeah I think it needs to be colored in let me go back and it's going to be easier to do that if I keep
keep the ruler here. So I'm just gonna do all this. This is where if I were editing, y'all would probably be grateful because who really needs to see me filling in lines like this? I don't know. But I guess if you're planning with me, y'all are doing this in real time. So nobody gets to press fast forward uh, in real time when they're planning in their own spreads, or planning their own planners. Oh my, I can't believe Christmas is so close. And I know I should be just so excited about the wonder of Christmas now having a child. But let's be honest, like she doesn't know it's Christmas. <laughs> she she knows in her heart, we want her to know Jesus. And we're going to tell her about the real meaning of the season. Uh, we're not going to be Santa people. Sorry, but not sorry. Santa is not. Ooh, this is a time that I can kind of correct this. Um, Santa is not going to be a thing in my house. I just, it wasn't when it, when I was growing up and, uh, yeah, I just don't think we're going to do Santa, but for Christmas this year, we're excited to, you know, have a child in the home for Christmas, but she doesn't know anything. So how special can I make a newborn's first Christmas? So challenge or, uh, request, I guess I should say, Leave a comment down below of what you did with your child on their first Christmas. Brownie points and extra thank yous if your child was three months old or younger. <laughs> because I just don't know. Obviously, we'll take pictures. Obvi. But I don't know. Like, I don't even think we're going to. It's not like we're going to get our presents. Right? I mean, do you get a two-month-old? Actually, at that point, she'll be 10, week, uh, 10 weeks, something like that. Um, I mean, do you, you get them presents or what? So please let me know things that I should be doing with Esther this first Christmas. And maybe include uh, perhaps regrets that you have from your child's first Christmas so that I don't repeat maybe some, some things that, that you regret. Okay. That's a nice bold color and it is a perfect match. So I'm very happy with that. Now I like to add a little extra texture. So I'm going to go ahead and just add like stitching. This is always just a way to make a box look different, look a little extra. And it's just doing dots or dashes on the inside of the frame. It takes a little extra time. It's a little monotonous, but I don't know what it is. I just feel like it makes the box look special, especially if I'm not putting in a drop shadow. There's no room for a drop shadow on this frame. So maybe it looks just a little more 3D instead of the drop shadow. So the next time you draw a box frame, Add some dashes on the inside and see if that kicks it up a notch, makes it look a little bit nicer. And I'm not even trying to get them to look the same. There we go. So we've got that. Do I want headers? I know I want this car, you guys. I want this car. I mean, I could just pop them in here like this and it just be almost like a little postcard little vibe like he's just chilling oh my goodness um I think I want to stick with the clear stickers just because I can tell the difference between clear decorative and paper decorative and when I mix them, I don't like it so much. I'm gonna put this one on the inside like that. <gasps> Cute. And then I'll put some sort of header, some header on there or another quote. Or we just put in, wait, this is winter boxes. How does this look on here? Let's see, is it too? flashy. It's not. 
That's not too clashy, right? I think that actually works. I like it. Well, that's cute. So maybe I'll just put a remember sticker there. And then we need a little sun sun down here. And do we want to do another winter box? Oh, no, I wanted to hang wreaths. That's what I wanted to do. So do I do the clear ones? Since I just said I didn't want to do paper decorative. Although now it's this guy is stuck. We might have to donate it to the trash bin. Yeah, look at this. It's all it's all messy. You guys can't see. Hold on. Oh my goodness. It's just it's a hot mess. And this whole thing just came off its cover. My goodness. So do I want to put a wreath down here? two wreaths I don't know I think I'd rather do like a quote or something I need something decorative but I also think a quote would look nice um, if I could find like a big quote let me look at this let me get a good look-see a good looky-loo oh I don't know um, Got my task list. Um, we've got these little mugs. Let's see. And then we've got like a little shrubbery that's straight. I could just put this down here in the center like so and then do I put like maybe bullet lists for just anything else these quotes I'm not liking these quotes let me see I know I have let's see Amber Plants Her Day has holiday quotes and boxes hmm let me look at this and see what she has, ah, oh, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Merry and bright, we already have. Okay, so here are the, that's cute. Joy, love, peace, family, laughter, Christmas. I like that. Um, I wish these were bigger. Let me look at the big black quotes from, also from Amber Plants Her Day. Where is it? What's Winter Memories? Black Quotes Volume 2. So Volume 2 had giant quotes in it. This one. Let's see if she did any, did any seasonal, big seasonal ones. Choose Kindness. You got this, you only limit. So these are all like encouraging ones. We're doing great. Make every day count. Enjoy the little things. Maybe enjoy the little things. I mean, enjoy the little things is gonna be the most. Let me look through this. One, one go round. Nice human. Believe. I mean, believe I think is supposed to be like encouraging, like believe in what you know you can do for yourself, but I could, you know, believe believe in the wonder of Christmas. Picking stickers can be so hard. I don't know if I like any of these. Let's go back to this one. I could put the love, joy, love, peace, family, laughter, Christmas sticker. Uh oh, that one just peeled off funky. Hold on. 
this one I could put here. That's kind of cute. What do you guys think of that? I like it. It fills that space in really nicely. Um, so then maybe, do I want to like cover this and put a different quote down here? Let's see. But what quote? It would have to be a long one. For unto us a child is born. I like that one. Hmm. I like this font so much that it makes me want to find it again, but I like this quote. Jesus is the light of our Christmas, the joy of our hearts, and the hope of our world. Hmm, I like that. But I think it's not wide enough to go there. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that just as it is. I'm not going to add another quote, but I think there were checklists. Yeah, these guys. And I think I might just add them here. Right? Should I do it? If I just add that guy there. It doesn't really, uh, it doesn't line up with the lines. I wonder if these would line up here. They don't, but they add a little pizzazz. I kind of like them though. Do I add them as a little little extra texture could do that that kind of covers it up though we're not going to do that oh gosh um i could just use this guy and just make dots i could do that or you know what no what i'm gonna do just to keep adding some color. I'm going to just bolden these lines with this pen color like that. Just like that. And that'll just fill that in. Add a, a little extra color. Yeah. Like so, that works. And then I could add, so maybe this is a highlight. Let me grab another winter box. I do want to figure out, oh, <laughs> winter boxes does have checklist, checklists in colors, in matching colors. Interesting, wish I had thought about that. <laughs> Apologize for the dog. It's delivery season, guys. Like everything is being delivered. And so, you know, all the Cyber Week orders are being delivered, Christmas presents being delivered, all the things being delivered. And uh, Sadie just can't. All right. Question is do I put the box here or do I put it here, right in the center? Center or below? I think I'm gonna go with center because there's enough still popping out underneath. Let's do it. Okay, um, what else do we need? We need to label, we need to add um, the dates. That was what's missing. Let's go to, let's look at rainbow data from Mojo Jojo Plans and see if her red, oh, it's not the right red. It's too bright. Too bright of a red. I wonder what would happen if I tried to color over it. I think it could be a hot mess. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, and then even the big ones are a little too... 
a little too big. Let's look at uh, Heather's um, dated basics. Um, her red is also not quite right. Hmm. Yeah, the reds are just not not doing it for me. See, that red is the right red. That one. So in a smaller sticker, it's it is much better. Should we use Oh, I did that. Remember I did that a couple weeks ago? I'm a little nervous. Do we waste December hoping that this works? Let's do it. Ooh. Is this pen already dying out? All right, we are grabbing December. See how that looks. I don't know about that. I don't know. I guess it could work. I think I just don't want it to be over here. What if we... Hmm. I'm just gonna put that there. I like the way that looks. I don't like that it's kind of got it like a chalky look to it because the pen's dying out already. So let me see if I can fill this in a little bit more. Very dark. Ugh, I don't like it. It's too dark, you guys. It is too dark. Let me see if I can. I think I want a clear December sticker. If I can pull this guy off. Some plans just don't work. You have an idea, you think it's a good idea, and then and then it sucks. Uh, all right, I like this font. So we're gonna go with this big December. This is from the Mojo Jojo Plans Date It sticker book. I think this is going to look better. Yep. And I'm just going to put this right at the top here. December. Yep. I like that a lot better. And since we use that font, it'll be easier to, um, or make me feel better using this font for dating. And I'm going to use black. And we want five to 11. The question is where? I guess we'll go here. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything fancy with the days of the week. I wanted this to be a shorter plan with me. I really need to stop saying that because I feel like it jinxes it. What time are we at? 38 minutes. Sweet niblets, you guys. I had such high hopes. I thought this was going to be an under 20. Surely, surely it would be under 30. Now we'll be lucky if we're under 45. Because I can't make up my mind. But I do know I like the way that that looks. I think that looks pretty. Okay. Okay. So, I just need to figure out what I want to put in my headers. I'm definitely using a black pen for this, so it doesn't, uh, I don't want it to be too red. And I'm going to put remember here. I'm going to do it in lowercase. I always do it in caps, but re- 
remember. I'm gonna do remember there. And then what am I gonna write here this week? I mean, I don't even know what I'm gonna write here. Uh, maybe this is for Christmas planning this week. Um, well, how would I abbreviate that? Christmas planning, planning to-dos. So this would be maybe the Christmas related stuff this week and then this will be like my home to-dos. Um, can I fit Christmas plans? Christmas planning. Christmas planning. That works. All right, friends. Are we going to call it good? Let me look one more time at Homebody Seasons to see if there's anything else in here that I would want to add. I mean, the mug is cute. I could put the mug, I could throw a mug down. A mug there, a mug in the corner. You can't have a mug next to a car because that looks, <laughs> that looks not cool. It's like a giant mug, right? It's a, a car sized mug. You gotta have, it's gotta make sense, you guys. It's gotta make sense. I could kind of nestle it in there, but I think that would look weird. Maybe less is more. And I'm trying to, you know, make make it look extra sassy, but um yeah, maybe. Maybe we just keep it basic. I do like this joy sticker, this little box joy sticker. Where can I put this? Ooh, if I put it here, maybe this looks like a stamp. Like a postcard with a stamp. Too much. Or I just nestle it in here. I'm just going to nestle this. Because I'm not going to be able to use that bullet anyways, so... Or I put it down here. Ugh. I don't think that's right. But I like this sticker and I want to use it. I put it in the corner. No, it just doesn't work. But hopefully I can find a use for it. At another time. Decorate the house though. I could put this on. Hmm. Do it on Monday. I don't know. I can't decide so. As my dad used to say, if you don't know, don't go. Don't do it. If you don't know, just leave it. So, I think, I think I'm going to leave this. This is pretty basic for me. It took me forever, and yet, um, I, yeah, I think this is a pretty nice basic spread for the week. Uh, let's see what it looks like on discs. Throw this guy down. I think it is lovely, absolutely lovely. Just what I need, decorated just enough, still plenty functional, and I think it's super cute. And I might be extra and use this click art pen this week. I might just do that and not use black ink. Who am I? All right, friends, this is the final spread. Love what it looks like. I will post the final picture over on Instagram. So if I change anything, you'll definitely be able to see that over on Instagram. Come hang out with me over there. My handle is EJJoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again and see other spreads that I put together, you want to watch some unboxing videos, you want to see my planner lineup and planner setup videos for 2023, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you do something creative today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.